Oh my god. Yo, we are currently having a sale at bankyspec.com, 20% off the entire website. We'll get our new jet tags in stock. Check this out, check this out. Trust the process jet tags. New jet tags are live on the website, bankyspec.com. We got clothing, we got hoodies, we got keychains. You name it, boys, check it out, 20% off. Oh. If you want to help support the channel, go grab one of these jet tags. We've got a bunch of other ones on the website. Sale ends at the end of January. We are doing a stock clearance because we are preparing for the new content of 2024. First thing we're gonna do today is clean the garage because it's quite a mess in here as we've been painting the boot on the Lancer. And if you haven't seen any updates on this thing, that's because I'm doing little reels on Instagram. So go follow me there. We did a paint job on this thing. Oh my God. And it's uh, turned out pretty bad, but it's okay. We can polish it later. But yeah, we're gonna clean this garage. And then I'll, we'll be back in a second. All right, guys, the garage is now clean. Have a look at that. We brought the chaser in and we have enough room for two cars now. Back to a two car garage, baby. Oh man, will she run? Try again. Hell yeah. Bro, right, this thing is so obnoxious. It is so loud. It's got a muffler and a res, but that doesn't quiet down the four liter barrel that's inside. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I wish I could rev it for you, but it's uh, throttled by wire, so I can't rev it. But damn. Oh my God, bro, holy crap. Bro, this car is insane, holy crap. I just can't get over how much torque this thing has. It like feels way quicker than it actually is. You know, this thing makes 700 newton meters of torque and 300 kilowatts through a four speed manual. It's goddamn diabolical. Like we don't have semi slicks or anything on like that. So obviously it's gonna like spin a little bit when you change gear, full throttle. It kind of makes it a little bit more enjoyable being so sketchy, but. Oh, it's a handful. Yo, this thing just tried to race me, got smoked. <laughs> Mustang 500 got nothing on the barrel, baby. Whoa! Hell yeah, I wish I could record that, but I can't drive this thing one-handed, man. Oh my God. Bro, this is just ridiculous. It's rowdy as. Yo, we got tunnel coming up. Tunnel coming up, boys. <laughs> oh, it's gonna make me so sad getting rid of this thing. Oh, that's right, boys. I'm unfortunately gonna be selling the EF Barra. I know, it's sad, but I'll explain why. Oh man, feels wrong. I got goosebumps, man. But I gotta get rid of it, unfortunately. Vita! Hello. Hello. The mighty Barra. All right, so it's it's not a secret anymore, guys. Most of my friends already know we are getting rid of this thing, and yeah. How, how do you feel about it? Honestly, very bittersweet. Like, yeah. we've made some good memories with this car, and it was really fun being a part of the journey, building it and all that. You know, got to move on to bigger and better things. It's kind of unfortunate because I literally, yeah, just picked up Peter, and the first thing I said to him was, like, it's such a sick car. Like, it's such a sick car. It is an awesome car. It's a great platform. It's a good motor, and yeah, it makes me sad. It makes me sad. With a little bit more time and money invested into this thing, someone will be, someone could run very quick passes. Like I'm talking, you know, nine, nines, tens, any day. I really enjoyed making this car. It was a lot of fun. Um, it took a lot of my firsts uh, with like with the welding aspect. Like it was the first time that I had to do an entire exhaust, a custom intercooler. Um, the first time that I really had to like learn how to make like lines, like the these raceworks lines, these custom braided lines. Like I learned a lot with this build. I learned, yeah, how, how capable a Barra is. And I think that's really important if you are Australian and you like cars because Barras are like the number one. Honestly, after hearing you say about all the stuff you've learned, it actually makes it more sad to get rid of. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. <laughs> it's pretty crazy that a $700 X taxi motor is out here making 300 kilowatts reliably. Yeah, man, like literally reliably. I haven't had an, a single issue with it, especially with that Dalmore Dino tune. Yeah, Brad killed it. Top yeah. G, Brad. 
The thing is so comfy to drive. It's really nice. So there are a few things that I want to explain to you guys in terms of the reasons for me selling the car. Some personal reasons, but we'll get back to that in a second. Peter is actually going to be listing it on Facebook Marketplace for me. Um, obviously because, you know, we've built this following. I can't really deal with you guys messaging me. So that's why <laughs> yeah, we got Peter. Me. <laughs> Please yeah. message Peter if you want to buy the car. Don't waste my time though. Don't be like, oh, yeah. yeah. I'll give you five grand for the car. No. Goodbye, Peter. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Come see me. Buy this car. So, boys, we're back at home, and I want to explain to you why I've made the decision of selling this thing rather than seeing the build out and bringing it to its full potential. So the first reason guys is cost. To get it to where I want, I'm gonna to need to spend a lot more money. This is me being really transparent with you guys, but I simply can't afford to get it to where I want and make a return on it. Now, this is like a businessy sort of chat I know, but of course, because I'm a YouTuber, I need to make cars that do really well. And unfortunately over time, uh, the barrow content has died down. And I think that's because, you know, it did take us a long time to do this build. Ideally, I would chuck like a manual behind it, put like a built BTR even, and uh, you know, put this thing up to 400 kilowatts because that's what the engine is built for, uh, with the dominator parts that we have in there. But that's yeah, a big reason why I think that it's gonna be a smarter move to get rid of the car rather than see the build out because it's a sick car and all, but it's just gonna cost me a hell of a lot of money to get it where I need. I think it's somewhere in the range of 10 to 15K I calculated to get this thing where I want. I do get there are gonna be a bunch of you guys out there who don't really understand what I'm trying to put down. I saw a lot of comments on my previous video on the cars that I have and me talking about the Barra and how some of you thought that I just built this car for clout. And look, as a YouTuber, you do have to take that sacrifice and not build your dream car, but build cars that do really well on YouTube. And obviously at the time, Barras were like the number one thing. Everyone was chucking Barras in all their cars, but it's just something that I can't financially sustain um, as from right now. <laughs> Now we did have some awesome memories in this thing. I wanna just quickly touch base on those great times that we had with this car, like taking my dad for a ride in this thing. You know, we had some great reactions from the boys. This thing makes 700 Newton meters of torque. So it feels insane. As soon as the power hits, it's a lot. It feels crazy. Holy shit. Holy shit. And guys, I genuinely did enjoy this build process. Like I learned a lot, like I said before, I took a lot of my firsts and it's made me sort of appreciate the Barra, obviously a lot more than if I didn't have one. Now, because we're not a massive YouTuber, we do have to do things at a budget. And of course, what helps a lot with these builds are the sponsors. So Raceworks, Dominated Motorsports, PJZ Customs, TI Performance, and of course, Dalmore Dino for doing this tune. Um, all these people helped out a lot. But yeah, I hope that clears up some of the confusion. I'm not just abandoning this car because I don't love it anymore. Like, I love this thing. I'm gonna miss this thing. I'm gonna miss this thing a lot. Freaking sucks, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Really appreciate the love and support that I got for this build. Um, like I said, I really don't want to get rid of the thing, but I have to for the greater good. We've got a lot of other projects that we need to complete and selling this thing will free up the space, free up some time and money to get those other things on their way. But yeah, appreciate you guys sticking around and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>